we it's not a priority tour this year. It's uh, June 17, 2002. And um, let's hear what we, um, what Kate and Malcolm and Vesna have to tell us about the priorities that we have chosen on last Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, so let's go through them one by one. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, whichever is the first one that you have. You can. Is it oven floor? Oven floor? Or that oven? So that's feature 785. Unit 8394. Okay. Yeah, that's what I told her. But, uh. Yeah, but Bleda, uh, can you not work, stay in one place and work? Do you have to? Cross the whole well, it's difficult if you have to measure and draw. I'll try something else. Yeah, but, but you can keep it closer to you. Uh, okay, so we are talking about the priority that uh, was uh, the floor, the earlier floor of the feature 785, which is an oven in the southwest corner of the building. Um, and that floor, um, between the floors, we had a thick layer of organic black carbonized remains, and we thought that was a very good sample. So, was it a very good sample? Uh, it is low density. Sample was a low density. Low density. But uh, when we looked at the other ovens, uh, some of them has much more wood, but this one has very little wood. Okay. Um, The, this sample is a lot of food remains, uh, cereals, nuts, okay. especially cereals and nuts. Okay. And cereals are uh, in mixed conditions, some of them very burnt, some of them whole in good conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, there is many pieces of nut shells mm -hmm. and some nuts and probably uh, belongs to almond. Mm -hmm. And there are many uh, seeds and they are very diverse. There is five or six types wild seeds. They are very in, they are very good conditions. Mm -hmm. um, I'll bring some of the seeds. Okay. And this Rumex species is part of this one. What is that called? Rumex species. But uh -huh. Okay. So what is that? That's a wild plant, right? Yes. Yeah, this wild. is not cereal. This is a wild plant that yeah. they. Could have they used that uh, for cleaning the floor, maybe? So what they want to make it? They might use it for a fire. Ah, for fire. So it maybe also. Oh, as, as part of done. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or just, um, just pin it. Okay. And this one, lots of... Most of the devices from polygon pieces. Okay, so this is the other... Pieces. This can be used for making fire. Okay, also for making fire, probably. And this one. Okay. And this uh, usually 
grows so, with this cereals together. Ah, uh, this is like a weed that yeah. grows next to cereals mm -hmm. and usually the seeds come up together. Okay. So then we do have like cereal, seeds of cereals in there, but also there is other wild plants. Yeah. But cereal is very few. Very few seeds. Wild seeds. Mm. Okay, so even though it was seemed very rich, it actually had low density of yeah. uh, plant materials. But it was similar to other others. Yes, but uh, some others has a more wood, but some others have a little wow. This one is a little wood. Very little wild plants. Okay. And 8392, it was again open floor field. This one. Field. So, okay, so that's the same. That's the yeah. layer that is above the first layer. Yes. Okay. When we compare the both units, they are looks very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, again, very little piece of wood, mm -hmm. but less than the other. Okay. Uh, the differences between two samples, this sample uh, include more uh, cereal grains. Okay. Good condition and more cereal grains. Okay. Which are wheat and barley. Or, Again, as of nut shells and nuts, mm -hmm. it seems to be from almonds. Mm -hmm. uh, again, in wild seeds, but this time it's not very diverse, like uh, mm -hmm. the same kind of seeds. So that's those. Now, did you look at those units as well? Is there anything? Yes, there is almost uh, nothing uh, out of large mammal bones. On the other part, there were only 10 particles of large mammal bones, which are one millimeter size, of that size. But there is something else, and uh, uh, these are, uh, if you know, if you heard of their poem, Perkui is uh, plural, what that means. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, these are the leads of the snails. Uh, an animal is alive, it uses that lead to close its house. It's uh -huh, a snail uh -huh. shell, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. And these are um, mm, somewhat uh, uh, one millimeter in diameter. Mm -hmm. And when, K, uh, when we can find them, on the, um, they belong to a species which is a river or stream, live, lives in rib, river or stream, and they can be found on the bank of the river. Oh, or marshes. Uh, I think uh, uh, that this is not a pond, uh, uh -huh. a snail, but uh, rather a uh, stream or river. Clean water. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we can find those in deposits which are related to uh, water, running water. And uh, it is obvious that uh, they are not uh, here because they are intentionally uh, brought, but un unintentionally. Maybe part of the building material in the clay, yes. uh, in the clay that was used for the clock. Yes. Okay. Although I, I was uh, reading the Mendes report and couldn't find the... Uh, that mentioned before. Yes. Yeah, because I'm, most people who work here could not identify those because we need special. Yes, but uh, there were diatoms fossil. Uh, I mean, again, uh, uh, something in the spiculas of the sponges uh, which were identified. So I suppose that uh, they were not omitted, but and still I couldn't find them. So, Maybe this is that one place where they occur. Okay. No, uh, I have them in three units. Oh. And there is a, a small uh, piece of um, uh, shell, mm -hmm. uh, which is also, uh, this time uh, it is a part of a shell, and it is uh, a species living in rivers too. And that's uh, all except that in that uh, unit which is uh, in the iron field, uh, mm -hmm. there is one, uh, one bone which might uh, um, come from, uh, which might be food to remain, and that is uh, part of um, a lamb bone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Lamb bone, okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we have, which are the units. Three more. Three more.
we have two units. One is black from this area and one red from this area. 8397. Um, which, one, which one was in which place? Um, the one that was rich in organic materials was from here. They, they both were. They both were. Um, well, Slobo is not here. Uh, I, think, I think it was 8401 that was by the cut. Okay, here. Okay, yeah. okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, I looked at those units, and to the one near the cut, 8401, here's Pika. Sure, had a, a moderate density of wood and a low one without wood, so it was mostly wood. And there's some uh, cereal grains, uh, probably wheat, wheat grains. And uh, they're in pretty good shape. They're still whole. And they had been some of them were severely burnt, but they were still they had been very fragmented. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot, quite a bit of burnt from that. Probably, probably from scurpus tubers. Which is the same as we had last year in the same area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, a little bit of uh, pulse uh, lentil. Mm -hmm. And a couple of wild seeds, but not, not very many wild seeds at all, and a, just a little bit of nutshell and half berry. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other unit next to it, mm -hmm. which was eight. Which feet. is more towards the center of the screen wall right. in this area. Seven, yeah, 8397. Mm -hmm. uh, had a moderate density with wood and also a moderate density without wood, so there was a lot of other material besides wood, there wasn't that much wood. Uh, most of it was frankoma, also scurpus tubers, as well as chaff, um, cereal, and this unusually there was a large number of wild grass seeds. Which, uh, in fact, this is the most I've ever seen in one place. Mm -hmm. And there was hardly any other kind of uh, wild seeds. Um, so it was quite different. Mm -hmm. It was well, somewhat different from the one next to it. Mm -hmm. in that it wasn't as diverse and it was mostly the wild grass seeds and grain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and then I went back and compared it with, just look at from last year at the midden material from the barrow mm -hmm, cuts mm -hmm. to see if it was similar. And um, neither one are really quite the same as the, the barrow material. Oh. Because mm -hmm. uh, that had a, a real high diversity of different material, a lot of nutshell and mm -hmm. a lot of tuber and uh, wild, a lot of different wild seeds. Mm -hmm. And neither of these had as much either wild seeds or uh, nutshell. So if if I uh, were right to when I said that this could be part of the midden that's below uh, the the material that you are describing, then it's either a, <clears throat> a portion of the midden that really had different content for some reason, or it is not part of the midden but part of something else. The one closest to the cut, the eight uh -huh. four one, was could you know was somewhat similar to the midden, but it was. But the other one was different. Yeah. And that's good because the other, if I'm right in thinking that if, if we are both right in thinking that the other one is more to the middle of the <coughs> of the cut and fill, then it means that that one was uh, closed, sealed with a burnt, really positive uh, oven material, which makes it better. Uh, a good close context, which is not uh, um, the medium material. Okay, so anything? Well, there is something. In fact, uh, this unit uh, uh, 8401 is uh, has some bones and mm -hmm. some uh, identified them. There are sheep bones. Mm -hmm. um, and many, uh, many particles of large mammal bones, and they are mostly 10% are burnt, mostly carbonized, and there are few pieces calcinite. And uh, concerning this, uh, this could be um, life even that. Uh -huh. But there is something else. Uh, there are fish remains. Um, mm -hmm. These are uh, vertebra and teeth of a small uh, fish. But anyhow, this could be eaten as well. 
and um, uh, uh, there is something which uh, seems to be different from everything else. Uh, I mean, fish and bug bones, they um, uh, may be something like mitten, but different things with uh, rod and bones. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a few of them, and uh, they look uh, very fresh. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. they are of different color, they are unbroken, unweathered, and so on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but uh, uh, that species of rodent, uh, this is a much smaller species uh, than this one that means this close. It's very this close. Uh, so it is a question of uh, whether it is uh, contemporary or uh -huh. not. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Did we have any more units? Oh, just a minute, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and there is, uh, that is the unit uh, 8401, uh, and another one is uh, 8391. And uh, uh, there are uh, also all uh, these uh, things I were talking about are in that, that unit too. It's not very different, in, um, except that large mammal bones are very rare. Mm -hmm. They are only uh, particles of uh, millimeter size. Mm -hmm. But about rodents, again, uh, they are also there are also fresh bones and broken, and they belong to uh, more species. Um, something like uh, we call it uh, the domestic mouse. Mm -hmm. So it is a species which is connected with people, with settlements, with houses. And uh, there is yet another unit where it is found and no other species. And uh, around here, there are many species of rodents which are living on the coast and uh, many boring animals and so on. So it is somehow intriguing that we have that house uh, species rodent in uh, the house. On the other hand, it is uh, quite strange that these bones uh, uh, have that fresh appearance. But somehow, um, and mouses are not uh, those who, they uh, live in holes, but they are not uh, uh, fond of digging holes, uh, mm -hmm. and certainly not through the walls. Mm -hmm. They are not so strong. And also, I doubt that they use um, other rodents um, holes. So, I think that uh, maybe that problem with rodents uh, mm -hmm. needs some <laughs> thinking. And, uh, maybe looking through that uh, or this a rubbish rubbish. Yes. Definitely. Yes. And uh, the pins that uh, carry is digging probably had a lot of problems with rodents. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and one one thing more, uh, there is one uh, tooth germ mm -hmm. of the mouse. So that is a young individual. And again it is pointing that uh, mouse is there. Yeah. If they are not with. Right. Okay. Let it be. Do you have uh, a paper tone? Uh, okay. Um, should we say something more about the. We have that the pin there. And yeah, the pin is interesting. Okay. Let's go to the pin. Yeah, you can put another tape. Um, okay. Change the tape. Okay, so let's just make sure that what Vesna was talking about right now was a, a unit 8391, and that is the unit that is actually in the pin, uh, which is a feature. Uh, is it 770 feature? 786. 786. Wait, 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 wait. Um, so, um, yeah, 786. So it's here now about the uh, plants from that same area. Okay. Um, there wasn't this uh, sample had a very pretty low density. It wasn't, it wasn't very much botanical material, and it was mostly wood with a little bit of some cereal. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that really stood out is that there was a few. Uh, false lentils, but not, not a lot. Mm -hmm. it wasn't. So we cannot really say that this was a pin that, that uh, held the lentils. Uh, mm -hmm. right. There is simply no sign of mm -hmm. what it was used for. 
for store, what kind of storage it was used for? Because what, whatever, I mean, the remains that are in there would have had to have been burned somewhere before they got in there. Right. So it might just be things that got mixed in. Right, right. Uh, now, um, do you remember the other bins here on the side? What they usually contain? Do we have a, a knowledge of what they typically contain? The only ones I know that about that I looked at were in the north mm -hmm. building. Um, building one of five. The one five of five. 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 The ones that you can see. Yeah, it, that's five. Mm -hmm. And they had nothing in them. They were completely right. cleaned out. They were completely cleaned out. Yeah. Oh, yes. So obviously, before they um, abandoned the building, they cleaned out the bins thoroughly. <laughs> yes. And what what they left behind? If they left something behind, the rodents came and, uh, and so there is nothing inside. Okay. Well, what we know, we know that in those bins we had rodents bones. Yes. Uh, okay. So now to go back to our screen wall area, and we heard about the the plant remains in there. Now we have to hear about the yes. fauna remains. That is unit A three nine seven. That's right. Okay. And again, there are a very small amount of large mammal bones, uh, fragments less than one centimeter. 40% uh, of the bones are burned and mostly black carbonized, only few pieces uh, calcinite. Mm -hmm. And um, um, there are again rotten bones, but this time they are of different color, uh, but possibly because they were burned. And uh, there are also two bird bones which are burned, mm -hmm. and that would be all from uh, that unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you probably didn't have a chance to see what typically is found in middens in the uh, middens are very rich, uh, yes. of four remains, so it's difficult And to this say. is such a small unit that yeah. is not. Yeah, it's not yeah, represented. Not. She, yeah. It's just maybe those birds, bird bones are maybe interesting because they are not so often. So common. So common. Mm -hmm. And they are burnt, and it is known that birds uh, uh, have been used for food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are now done with the. Um, oh, we oh, have one. Ah, yeah. uh, burial. We have our burial feature 1004. Three. 1002. Is our feature number for the burial, which contains at least three individuals. Eight, 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 five. Yeah, I'm obviously the number. Okay. So the unit number was eight, 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 three, eight, five. Five. eight five. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with wood, it has a moderate density. Without wood, it's low density. What well, which means? Uh, it has. There are large pieces of wood. Uh -huh. Many wood. Okay. Uh, mainly wood and second second cereal. Mm -hmm. Sample looking like from middle deposits. Mm -hmm. And plant remains are diverse, cereal, lentils, peas, some cranko from tuber, mm -hmm. uh, little herbaceous material and many varieties of white seeds, most of them. Uh, most of plant remains are in very bad conditions. So typical midden material, which is interesting because the fill doesn't look to us as we excavate as typical midden material because it's not full of ash and, and charcoal. It's not black actually. It's quite brownish, right? Um, well, I was thinking because when I met, I'm talking about this before, and this mixture might be uh, the result of the animal holes. Uh -huh. So because there were quite a bit burnt um, charcoal. Um, side mm -hmm. in the animal hall, so the wood would come from that, and also cereals and the other plant remains. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it doesn't look like midden deposit usually. So right, so the, those midden deposits, midden looking deposits, came possibly through the animal holes yeah. into the burial, which otherwise doesn't look to be filled with the midden material, but <coughs> then we um, we don't know enough about the middens and it's quite possible that uh, they were different, the middens themselves, and in terms of appearance and um, 
or they contain in terms of botanical materials, similar stuff, but yet the main uh, matrix, soil matrix, was different around it. So. Well, uh, I'm thinking what Bashat uh, said. Uh, uh, large mammal fragments found uh, uh, fit well uh, to that story because uh, there are no large uh, bones, but only small bones and small fragments, and a lot of them. So it, it, uh, it is really in accordance uh, with that uh, story. Um, a few pieces that were known that were identifiable are from uh, sheep goat. Uh, there were two uh, finger bones, one of them digested, and there was an, uh, one tooth from a wild animal, fox. Uh, it is a very small tooth, and pieces, so uh, by the measures, uh, those bones are the same as those fragments. And again, we have organs, and again, it is a mouse, that's the domestic mouse, and again, it appears quite fresh, and uh, bones are broken and so on. There are also two bird bones and um, um, quite a lot of fish uh, bones, and again, a percoli of uh, that uh, snail. So everything uh, seems like rather positive. We deposited, except uh, those mouse bones. Now, now the fox tooth, could it be uh, from uh, foxes that lived here and that there, um, you know, foxes also live on the ground, right? Yes, and they yes. Could, have, could it come from them? Now, uh, that's, that's possible too, although you should uh, notice uh, um, a hole on the channel made by a fox, it should be uh, bigger and somehow I think that you wouldn't uh, miss to recognize well, it from the surface. And uh -huh, from the surface? Yes. Well, they have, um, they, they kept, keep talking about a huge distur animal disturbance in that whole area, so it's not impossible that they have a, a fox call or something that's like that. And even if it's not coming from the surface, it could have been from the side. From the side. How but many the foxes? Uh, really big. Really big? Yes. <laughs> that big call? And the fox is like this, mm. this big. Yeah, foxes can be this long, but the little fox can be small. And they yeah, can be that big. Yeah. Uh, there should be space for, for the animal to cross. Yes, and uh, if, uh, if it is a fox, then uh, that would be a fox den, uh, and then you should find uh, evidences of that, uh, bones that uh, animal. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So most likely um, it came from the Neolithic content, the context. Okay, anything else? Okay, so let me tell you now, uh, we have not been Making, we, we've been making great progress here, but it doesn't show uh, very much because we have been moving mostly uh, plasters and um, things on the floor in this in the west area of the building and also on top of these bins or basins. And so I don't expect a very exciting material for you in there. And the, the bins in the northwest corner, they are the same as before. So why don't we take some samples now from page 89, which is uh, a mixture of everything, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, it's redeposited building materials, but a lot of organic material, charcoal, mm -hmm. a lot of um, fragmented tools, stone tools, uh, stone tools. Uh, some large bones and wild animal bones. Right. Um, so we should take that, and we can make it. Yeah, we can we can take only one another sample from the new burial, and then make this priority. And because this is a large sample, we have to discuss how you can do it. I don't know if you can do the whole thing. It's a, so far, it's been how many liters done? Roughly. Oh, it's uh, just let me see. 
my, and they go in the opposite direction. Actually, before we found this, we, we were thinking about the uh, small ones we find mm -hmm. in this burial. They were just small for this. This is a uh, bigger, mm -hmm. bigger child. older child mm -hmm. uh, than the other one, the pieces we found. So we were expecting to find the second one, which came soon. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's yeah. cool. That's lovely, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's good. I mean, for you, it's great. Oh, so many right. people. Right, yeah. from the, right from the beginning of the excavation, you immediately got all those burials. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> well, when the Lori, when Lori comes, it's going to be really crowded. Well, I don't yeah. think the three of you are going to be there. I think Lori is probably going to excavate the air. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, they head down to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of us. I'm sure we'll have lots of work to do. So, shall we then conclude our priority tour for yes. our second priority tour? Thank you, Jason, and thank you, John, for filming it.